Homeowners across Perth are about to be slugged again with annual rates bills more than five times inflation in some suburbs. If you live in the city of Canning, you're in for the most pain and some other southern suburbs aren't far behind. Diana Ryan is angry. The Bentley resident hit once again by the city of Canning with one of the biggest rate hikes in Perth. We're talking about a general rate increase of 28% in the last four years. Explain to me why we need to do that. With inflation sitting at around 1.25%, this year Canning's rates are going up 5.9%. That's $70 on top of the average rate bill, which are the lowest in Perth. Diana says instead of looking at ratepayers, the council should look at itself. We have at only 100,000 people, the highest number of staff in Perth. The city of Canning will reap an extra $4.7 million from the rate hike, turning a massive deficit into a small surplus. Today, no one from the council would comment on camera. It's been poorly run for a long period of time. That's one reason why we suspended the council. Rockingham is one of four councils where rate hikes are three times inflation. Households there slugged an extra 4%. That's an extra $61. In Vic Park, rates are also up by 4%. As infrastructure is, becomes more difficult to deal with, you have to have the money to improve your roads, to improve your facilities around. Subiaco's rates up 4%. So too its western suburbs neighbour, Nedlands. In the northern suburbs, Wanneroo's rates are up 3.6%. Joondalup homeowners face a 2.5% hike, but in Stirling, one of the lowest increases in Perth. And in the east, Armadale's rates are up 3%. The city of Swans jacked rates up by 3.25%. Uh, I suggest the ratepayers engage more with their council and ask some questions about how their ratepayer money is being spent. Josh Yerger, Nine News.